My name is Tom Grolowitz. The man behind the camera is Ben Nelson. We're both building electric cars and we'd like to spend some time shooting some videos of the different parts and components that go into it so other people can learn from it and hopefully build their own cars. What we're going to talk about today is coupling the motor to the transmission. What I've got in front of me is the motor I'm going to be using in my car and the transmission that I'm also going to be using. It's a lot easier to do this with the two out of the car because you can handle alignment, get your holes drilled, get everything working. What I want to start out with is look at the two things you're going to have to connect. One is the physical pieces. You're going to have to somehow bolt the motor to the transmission. This, because the motor is mounted on the bottom, is going to be an L-shaped motor mount. Uh, a lot of cars use a motor that mounts off the face and you'll actually wind up with just a plate between the two. The other part of the connection connects the power from the motor into the transmission. And you'll notice we've got two different sized and very different shafts here. So you have to come up with a way to connect them. The most common way people are using is to use a brand of connector called Lovejoy connectors. You have two steel pieces with fingers and a rubber or plastic insert that sits between them. And you can order the pieces independently with different size holes to match the different shafts. These couplers are designed for industrial work and are designed to go right onto this motor. If you look, the motor shaft is smooth except for a groove in it, and that's where the key goes. And the key is what keeps this piece from spinning once it's on the motor. So that's all there is to putting those two together. You order the coupler that matches the size of your motor. The transmission's a little more difficult. The transmission was originally designed to couple to a clutch plate. In this application, I'm not going to use a clutch. The motor will couple directly to the transmission. The main thing a clutch does for you in a car is allow you to leave the motor running when the car isn't moving. With an electric motor, you can just shut it off. The other consideration is you want to minimize the amount of mass, the amount of weight that you have to spin with the motor because that costs you energy. Makes your car a little less efficient, won't go as far. So what I started out with was the clutch plate that used to slip on here. It's the disc with the friction material that was sandwiched between the flywheel and the pressure plate. And it had a little coupler in it that had splines, which are these ridges, that matched up with the shaft on the transmission. That's been taken off of a clutch plate, either cut out or, or pounded out or however it's designed to come out, and then turned down on a lathe to match a coupler. The two are then pressed together, and then we'll also put a weld around the edge here to make sure that the two can't spin. At that point, the coupler will slide right onto the transmission just the way it was designed to at the factory. Once you've got both couplers in place, and the spider in between, you'll be able to bring the two together and you'll be able to transfer power between the two. One of the advantages of these couplers is they allow for a small amount of shaft misalignment, which means if your motor isn't perfectly lined up with your transmission, it's not going to hurt anything. They won't handle a lot, only a degree or two, but it's better than trying to hard couple them and make sure everything's perfect.